Tortilla Talk Tuesday. This video is not going to be very edited. As we all know by now, Tortilla Talk Tuesdays are my days kind of off from editing. I mean, I edit a little bit, but not that much. It's a difference between like an hour or two of editing versus like six hours of editing. Anyway, I'm putting on some makeup. I was up early this morning. Twins had a doctor's appointment and they had to get some shots, which is never fun. And they were very sad about that, but they did a great job with the doctor. I'm so proud of them. And then I've just been editing and working and I caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror and I was like, she's tired. So I'm just putting on a little bit of makeup and I'm actually wiping mascara off of my mascara thingy right now. So I just want the tiniest bit of mascara. I don't want a lot because ever since I did my lash lift, I just don't feel like I even need very much mascara, but I like to just kind of brush them into place with like the tiniest bit of mascara. Ta-da, one eye done. I was just looking at the comments from the video where I did the lash lift and there were a lot of comments that were like, oh, I wish you had shown you doing the actual lash lift. And girl, no, you don't wish that. It took me so freaking long and there are are a lot of videos online of girls teaching how to do the lash lift and they're much smarter than me when it comes to that kind of stuff because they're like beauty kind of girls but I do have a little update on the lash lift so it has stayed like my eyelashes are still curled but I feel like a couple of them have gone wonky there's a couple lashes that are like go straight back or curled too much on the ends. I don't know, there's just a couple that are super bizarre and weird. But I still like it and so far I would recommend, but the process of it is not easy. Like I'm not trying to scare anyone off from trying it and I'm sure there are people out there who are gonna be like, actually it's super easy, I don't know what you're talking about. But I found it to be really frustrating and complicated to try to do the lash lift. You have to like glue a piece of plastic on your eyelid right at your lash line and then glue your eyelashes to this piece of plastic and then put the perm solution like on your eyelashes but only on the middle part of your eyelashes not on the root and not on the tip of your eyelashes sorry I'm cleaning while I'm talking to you guys and then you have to clean that off and then you have to put on a different kind of like perm lotion stuff oh my god look perm is a biatch it's just like stressful and scary you're literally perming your eyelashes and there's like chemicals right by your eyeballs and I definitely didn't do the first eye right and it took me like I'd say an hour and a half to two hours to do I think it's only supposed to take like 20 minutes but I just felt like it was really complicated <laughs> I'm I'm sure the next time I do it, it'll go way faster because now I know what to do and how to do it. So maybe the next time I do it in like a month or something, I'm definitely gonna do it again. So I guess that does mean I would recommend it. But maybe next time I'll actually film it because I'll be a little bit more experienced. Okay, I have a lot of cleaning to do and then I have rocks to do. So I'll meet you at my rocks. It's time to do rocks, you guys. I feel like every time I wear this specific crew neck, which is one of my favorites, it might be my favorite. It's a Taylor Swift lyric crew neck. I love it, it's cozy, it's so cute. I feel like every time I wear it, I get it dirty and I just got it dirty with my rock stuff. Ugh. Anyway, today I'm switching this to go into the final stage. So in a week, we will have freshly polished rocks from this batch. And I have a couple of these of rocks from stage one I need to look at and see if they're ready for stage two or not. Are you guys sick of the rock content yet? Well then fast forward or watch someone else because honestly, all of my videos now are just me looking at rocks. Here we go, one, two, three. Okay, we'll see these in a week and hopefully they're very polished and pretty. All right, here comes the next one. Ta-da! Last one for the day. Oh my God, so gorge! backyard because Eric said that the artichokes are starting to bloom and I don't believe him because I was out here two weeks ago and they were not bloomed at all. <gasps> But oh my gosh, I have been proven wrong once again. Are you freaking kidding me? I've been in the backyard almost every single day and I just didn't even bother to look over here at the artichoke plants because I swear like two weeks ago I looked and there was nothing here. Like I was like, we're not even gonna get artichokes this season. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I see six on this bush. Oh my God, this one's like almost ready. Oh my God, one, two, three, four, five on this one. And then one other bush over here. I think there's only two on this one, but there's probably some hiding down below. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love artichokes so freaking much. Like my favorite thing in the world. My garden is crushing the game right now. It's like springtime is springing. Beautiful orange tree has so many oranges, lemon tree, my artichokes, and look at my apples. There's our apple tree and they're starting to get these little cute little apples. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. And then look at our flowers are starting to bloom. They're so pretty. These beautiful red flowers. Are you joking? So gorge. Look at this like beautiful 
purple rose. Soon all of this is just gonna be huge blossoms of flowers. That's how it was last year at least. Maybe it won't be this year, I don't know. This pretty rose. Ooh, this is pretty. These orange flowers are blooming right next to the random construction truck over here. And then up here we have our grapevine. And last year we got a lot of grapes, but then some rodent came and ate like literally all the grapes. Hi, chicky, chicky. Pomegranate tree over here. Nothing blossoming yet, but there are some buds. I'm seeing some stuff happen. Oh my gosh, the flowers are blooming. Look at all the flowers. Oh my God. Look at all these birds of paradise flowers we have. They're crazy right now. There's so many of them. I always thought they were called birds of paradise because it was like the floofy orange part is like the, the hair of the bird. And then like the whole pointy part is the beak. But apparently that is incorrect. I guess they're called birds of paradise because it looks like a bird flying. But even looking at it right now, I feel like I don't see how it's a bird flying. We also have lots of lilies, which are gorge. These lilies, they're everywhere and they're so beautiful. These beautiful roses, are you kidding? Our mulberry bush is blossoming finally with leaves. Soon it'll be full of pretty flowers and then it's gonna be full of mulberries and there's lots of bees all by the lavenders. That's why I always pass through this area very quickly. How exciting, artichokes for dinner in a couple days, I feel. Hello, it's much later. I just got home from the bookstore. You guys gave me a ton of good book suggestions in the comments of one of my vlogs last week and so I ordered a bunch of those books online but I'm going to show you what we got today because we let the kids pick out books at the bookstore today. Well Eric picked this one out. This one is something he loved from his childhood so I actually think we already have this one but or we have a version of this not this exact one but we do have a version of this already so anyway. I got some bath crayons because the kids love coloring in the bath. It comes with five colors and silly like faces that you can stick to the side of the bath which is very fun. They're going to freaking love this. Got another bluey book. Maisie picked this out. This is Bluey Mum School. I'm sure we're gonna read this tonight before bed. Wesley picked this book out, the truck book, and I'm sure we're gonna read this one. And then guess who this one's for? Can you guess? My sweet Flenny, he loves bug books. Pictures in this book are incredible. They're so pretty. I picked out a book that I'm very excited about. Look at this book, The Cat Who Couldn't Be Bothered. Tell me this is not a book about my cat Gus. Literally, this book is Gus. This cat looks exactly like Gus. It's laying how Gus lays, and my cat Gus is just like this. this grumpy little face and he cannot be bothered like I was like is this but did someone come to my house and see Gus and then write a book about him I haven't read it yet but I just I mean literally I have a picture of Gus sitting like this like this is my cat there once was a cat who couldn't be bothered to do anything anything at all also the cat's name is Greg Greg Gus like a one syllable name that starts with G like hello Greg do you want to come to Mars we'd be the first ever cat astronauts I can't be bothered this is literally a book about my freaking cat and the final book that I got that my kids are going to laugh hysterically at is the alphabet book. Flynn's at the age where he just thinks it's funny to say butt after everything. They say booty and butt and poopy and they all just like laugh so freaking hard. So it's literally just a book about the alphabet but with every word it just puts butt at the end of each word. Tater top butt. Unicorn butt. Flynn's going to cackle at that book. Anyway I love the bookstore that was super fun and I'm excited to read all the books that you guys suggested so when I get those I will definitely tell you and show you everything that I got and who suggested them. Hello one, hello all, it's time for Tortilla Talk. I'm excited for Tortilla Talk today. Oh my God, Daisy. All right, Daisy, get away. Daisy, what the heck? Daisy, oh my oh. God, Daisy. <laughs> Literally every day now she does this. I turn on the camera and she immediately like knocks it over. Eric just brought me a quesadilla. Close your eyes. It's a surprise. <gasps> Oh, it's got a heart. Yeah, sour cream heart with, with Cholula oh, in it. Oh, that's so sweet. Thanks, Lovey. That's very cute. What are you doing? Tortilla shop, what I'm doing. And I just gave you a tortilla. Oh, my God. And I am a tortilla. Crazy. Sarah said, tortilla talk question, can you get Trader Joe's eggs? Because in my last vlog, I showed that my mom got Trader Joe's eggs and they freaking hatched, which is crazy. I would personally love to see you hatch babies. No, I'm not going to do what my mom did. Because, well, first of all, you have to have a chicken that is a broody hen. Like, yeah, it has to be in that, the phase yeah. of being broody and, like, plucking out its tummy feathers and roosting in the nest for, like, three weeks. And you have to put fertilized eggs under that chicken for like right away and then they have to stay on it for three it's like it's like a lot and then chicks is a lot of work like well i guess they're not as much work if you have the mom hen but no hen, yeah. that is not the plan the plan is that's not, not taxi right now it's not happening oh this is a question for you i'm so glad you're here so tia talk question is eric not into sea glass anymore i miss you guys i miss seeing you guys freak that's out over funny. uranium so Eric's still on sea glass. I'll let him answer that question, but I'm just going to say before he says what's on his mind about it, 
the tide is much different now and the ocean and the beach and everything like the closer you get into the summertime the beaches are just totally different winter is like the best time to look for rocks and sea glass because the sand kind of gets washed away and you're left with just like the rocks and stuff at the bottom but then as we get closer to summer sand like starts to pile up on top of all of the treasures and there's more people at the beach it's hot the tides are higher during the day and lower in the middle of the night so it's just like not as easy to find sea glass and rocks and cool things so like we haven't had any good times to go really but also we've just been really busy but anyway what do you yeah. like sea glass i think it is it's like a seasonal sport yeah kind of because the the way that the sand is churned is different somehow based mm -hmm. off the moon's distance you went today did you find anything there's no i found like four pieces and saw like a cliff landslide and was like spooked and like yeah. and like didn't but i think you're right it's like a different vibe now it used mm -hmm. to be like we would go and it'd be like rainy or cold and we'd be like wearing jackets and like no one else was there and, and no one else was there and i'd have my fanny pack where i put my glass in and no one else was there mm -hmm. and now it's like so many butts yeah lots of butts it's like so count. many butts yeah and like people playing volleyball yeah, it's a Did lot I say of butts? You said butts. There's yeah, a lot of and butts. then and so like and then it's me, but now it's like a, you know I'm just in a bathing suit with a fanny pack. It's like a weird look. So there's your answer. We're What's still your a... uh, bikini game? What do you mean? That we should um, go to bathing suit right now. And is it going to show your whole butt? No, it's not going to show. I don't. First of all, I don't have a. Butt I don't to like show. looking. Not that I like. I don't want to sound like I'm just like looking for butts. I no one. I definitely didn't think that. If, they're just, it is a fact that there are lots of butts out at the beach. It wasn't um, a thing for me when I was growing up. I feel like butts are more covered. Yeah, I don't know. I know that I don't show my butt because even if I were to wear like a thong, there is no butt to show. People will be like, why doesn't that person have a butt? It's just legs and torso. <laughs> like people will be like, what is that body? So I don't have a butt to you show. Have great, <laughs> but, you have a great tuchus. <laughs> you can't even call it a butt because it doesn't have <laughs> all the butt. No, but That was I, the first time I felt uncomfortable saying butt the whole time was then. Yeah, I don't have a butt, so I would wouldn't wear one of those anyway because it's not something I'm proud to show off like there's a lot of people who have like really great butts and I'm like I want people to look at this cute butt in this cute bathing suit so like power to you and that's is, is it a sun thing they want they want to get sun on the butt I think it's a style thing it's like a style and they like your booty like you know I don't know why well, think the style would derive from like people wanting to get tin butts I don't know, but as far as my go-to bathing suit, I don't even think that I have one that fits me right now. But I, I would probably gravitate towards a one-piece, like a classic mama, like just like I feel like I never in my life. I, I like a one-piece. That's good. I never in my adult life thought I would ever want to wear an adult, an adult <laughs> diapers. <laughs> I do want to wear adult diapers. What is that? <laughs> Where did you go? What? Wait, a diaper? I don't know why. You didn't mean to say adult and well, you didn't mean to say diaper. I know because I was starting to say adult swimsuit or right. adult one piece, but then I was like, why am I but saying adult? But you laugh at yourself for adult and then And then said I diaper. said, because then I was like, the only thing you'd say adult before, like a clothing item would be like an adult diaper. Oh, that, that tracks. That's the only thing. So then I just said diaper because but that also tracks because like, I would love to wear an adult diaper. Like actually. Can I ask no, you a question? No, I loved it when I had to wear one. But I never, even, but okay, so I would wear uh, one, I wear one piece because I, pregnancy made my skin very stretchy in places and I'm just a little insecure about that. Not that there's anything wrong with stretchy skin, skin is, can stretch and that's cool. But I just like, my body's, I'm still not used to my new mo mommy body, so I try to cover it up. So either a whole one piece or like it would be like okay. a high-waisted two piece that like covers a lot. Has your butt ever been tanned? Yeah. What? I used to go to a tanning um, bed, which is very bad yeah. for you. But I didn't know that at the time. I was very young, and I would go to a tanning right. booth. Not a tanning bed. Actually, I've never been in a tanning bed, a tanning booth, or a standing one. I, me too. But so, I used to have a Planet Fitness. It was mm -hmm. like a thing. It was like, like when I was in, maybe the end of high school, beginning of college, like there was like the Planet Fitness I belonged to. Like the front, like you would go, where, where you went to go check in, next to it was like a bunch of, like looked like phone booths. Mm -hmm. But yeah. they were tanning booths. And it was like complimentary with your... Complimentary tanning? With your membership. Yeah. And you, yeah, I think so. Oh my God. I, I feel like paid, it's expensive. I don't think you paid extra. But like, it was like a thing. It was like a new thing. Is this still a thing? Do and you would still do walk this? in and you just like stand, you just like raise your hand, right? And you just, no, like, and you just stand there. No, no, I don't know. You just stand there and it would, and like a fan would blow. Yeah. And it would be like, dude, like, I did that. I did it all the time. I didn't do it all the time, but I did it a few times. I remember thinking like, this is the weirdest thing. And then I, I haven't thought time. about it since then. Till it now. works, honey bun. I used to do it all the time in high school and I, didn't know it was, I did not know it wasn't good for you. I had no idea. Did not know it wasn't good for you at all. 
I really is it not? I'm pretty sure it's sure. really bad for you. I don't know though. I'm not a scientist, but I do know that I was really scared of the tanning beds because I thought I'd get locked inside of it. So I was like, I'm not doing that. I would only do the standing ones. I think I did a bed too once. So there was like a there was like a little plaza that it was like Kenny Rogers Roasters, and then there was a Barnes and Noble, and then there was like a tanning bed place. I always have to poop in Barnes and Noble. Orders Barnes and Noble, Michael's Craft Store. And Target. It's like immediate needing to poop. Yeah. Where's your poop location? Where's your like? You walk in. That wasn't the memory that was triggered. I know, but I'm asking. Where's like We're publicly? Home. Yeah, like, no, like when you home. You only poop at home. Home bowl. <laughs> You've never pooped home anywhere bowl, else. Home bowl, like for life. You've never pooped anywhere else. Airport, and that's it. But like, but that was because like of anxiety. No. <laughs> home. So, because there's like no, a lot of you're talking about like chain, like, I like chain to. big stores, like big box stores. No, yeah, no, that's Michael's craft store, immediate, immediate. Something about the smell, maybe I get excited or something. Like, I walk in and smell. When I go with you to Michael's Target, I know, like, we're gonna walk into Target and then she's gonna say, like, I'll be right back. I don't always have to poop, but I definitely always have to go to the bathroom. There's always like something's gotta happen. Enjoy your quesadilla. You. Thank you, love. All right, Tortilla Talk question. What's your current favorite Tortured Poets Department song? Mine's Who's Afraid of Little Old Me. Pretty much been on repeat since first listen. I agree, I love that song. I do think that's my favorite song, but I like a lot of the songs now. So I love Who's Afraid of Little Old Me is probably my favorite song on the album. I don't know that that will ever get topped. I love I Can Do It With A Broken Heart. I love Down Bad. I love the Tortured Poets Department. And I like Fortnite too. Oh, but Daddy I Love Him is so good. I love the Daddy I Love Him. I love the Black Dog. I think that's such a pretty song. I'm Gonna Get You Back is fun. Oh, the Prophecy is so good. I love the Prophecy. So I have listened to the second half of the album. I know I said I was gonna do it maybe on camera. I've listened to the second half of the album, but I haven't like sat down and read the lyrics and really paid attention. It's like it's kind of been on as I've like been running around the house and stuff. So I need to do like a sit down listen. And so maybe I will do that someday, but, but probably not quite honestly. Leslie said, when are you planning your next trip to Trader Joe's? Okay, I think that what she meant by that was, when are you going to go to Trader Joe's and get yourself your own chicken eggs? Well, I'm not going to do that. But I did get some fun little snacks at Trader Joe's today, and I'm going to show you. I already tasted them. I should have tasted them on camera, but ugh, I was too excited. Okay, so hold on. Trader Joe's haul. Ew, that was really annoying and cringy. Anyway, Scandinavian Swimmers Super Sour. These are good. I think the texture of them could be better. Like, it could be a little bit more chewy, but they're pretty good. I like the pink and the red. Oh, that's very delicious. Chocolate drizzled strawberry kettle popcorn. I didn't like this. I didn't think it had much flavor. I was like, this is gonna be crazy. It's just okay. It's not great. Baked pizza flavored pillow crisps. This was such a swing and a miss because it tasted amazing. The flavor was incredible, but the texture, total garbage. Tastes like I was eating fingernails, like so yucky. You would think this would be like a puffy like Cheeto or something, like a cheese puff, but it's like a thin, I don't know. I really don't like it. It's almost like ch chewing on a raw pasta noodle, but like thinner than a pasta noodle. Boba mochi, this is delicious. Really geeked out by the texture of it. Like when I touched it, they're individually wrapped. And then when I touched it, I wasn't expecting it to be so soft and supple. I love mochi. I've eaten mochi lots. I've eaten boba a lot. But for some reason, the texture of this, when I just touched a warm mochi thing, it just felt like someone's tender skin. And it just really weirded me out. But very delicious. Spicy mochi rice nuggets. I like spicy stuff. This was very hot. Like, I couldn't do it. Like I ate one and my mouth was boiling. Like this was too spicy for me. So I guess I'm a big old baby. I have not tried this one yet, the dark chocolate bark. I just have a feeling I'm gonna love it because it's dark chocolate. That is a huge chunk of bark. Very good, mm, very good. Ooh, I wanna crunch this up into chunks and put it in a cookie. That would be so amazing, I'm totally gonna do that. And are you guys ready to see my newest hyperfixation that I'm gonna be eating every day for the next couple of months? Brookie caramel or caramel candy clusters. A brookie. It's like it's like a brownie, cookie, caramely. I don't know what this is. It's magical. It's heaven. It's everything I've ever wanted in my mouth, like all at the same time. It's absolutely delectable and perfect. It tastes like a cross between a Samoa, is that what they're called? Those like caramel delights, the Girl Scout cookies, and like a really good C's candy chocolate. Like it's a perfect, oh my God, they're so freaking good. The question was, am I gonna go to Trader Joe's soon? And the answer is yes, I'm going tomorrow to get more snacks. Last question I'm gonna answer today is this one. Have you ever found any fossils at the beach? It's my dream to find one, as I feel like when that creature from all those thousands of years ago was to now end up with you in your hands from a different timeline, 
line, it's fate. How beautiful it is that you are the person that is meant to have the rock and sea glass has so many mysteries about where it came from and its story. And I totally agree, this is why I love rocks, this is why I love sea glass. But your question was about fossils. Do I have any fossils? Have I found any fossils? I think so. I don't know much about fossils and there's been a lot of times that I have thought that I found a fossil but then I'm not sure. So I actually do have a bowl of fossils or what I think could be fossils. I don't polish them because oftentimes fossils are in rocks that are too soft for the uh, tumblers and also just fossil material is typically very delicate and you don't want to scratch it or ruin it and tumbling rocks is literally just like smashing rocks against each other. But there are things like petrified wood which is essentially like kind of fossilized wood and that's within agate and agate is strong enough to tumble. So if a fossil were to be in agate, I could tumble it. But the rocks that I have found that I think could potentially be fossils or have fossils within them, I have not tumbled them. They're just sitting in a bowl. I've never shown them to you guys. So I thought I would end the vlog on these maybe fossils question mark. Maybe someone who is much smarter than me is watching this vlog and you can tell me if these are fossils or if they're just random designs in rocks or if they're seashells that are trapped within a rock. I don't know what these are but some of them look like seashell fossils to me and some of them look like bone fossils to me but I just don't know what they are. So we're ending the vlog on some fossils today but please send more questions. I just freaking love reading your comments and your questions. You guys are just the best and here's some fossils and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye. This is my bowl of potential fossils. I'm not quite sure what they are, but let's take a look. Warning before I start, anyone who has that phobia of like little tiny holes, you're going to want to skip to the next rock because this one has a lot of tiny holes. So this I'm pretty sure is just like a coral fossil or something. I read somewhere online that this is like tube worm colony something. I don't know if it's a fossil or just like a shell. I don't really know. Does this look like a fossil to you? What is this? Here's another one that looks very similar, but this one does have some agate on the side. You're right in here is some agate. I have absolutely no idea what this is. Here comes Daisy. This is what it looks like wet, kind of the same. It looks like a piece of coral or something, don't you think? I don't know. It's very lightweight. This rock definitely has some sort of a fossil in there that looks like a spine or something, doesn't it? What do you guys think? Like fish bones? So I guess this isn't technically a fossil. It's just like the imprint of a fossil. I don't know. What would you call this? I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I've had this one for so long. I feel like this one is full of fossils, but I don't really know because I don't know what I'm looking for. Like, I feel like this shape is really weird. I don't know what the heck that is. Is that like a bone or something? And over here, this like weird shape with the little like tentacles. Like is that a seashell? There's another weird like circular shape that I feel like is odd. Again, another little weird spot that I feel like is a fossil. I just feel like this is a rock full of fossils. I don't know, like what's this like stripe here? But I'm gonna get it wet so you can hopefully see a little better what I'm talking about. What do you guys think? Do you think this is like a fossil type rock? Do you think... Any of these things could potentially be fossils or am I just stupid and saving an ugly rock for no reason? This is one of the first ones I ever found and I am so confused by this because I feel like it looks like teeth or something. I don't think the camera's gonna be able to pick it up, but within these little tooth looking things, there are little ridges that look like a spine. I really don't think you're gonna be able to see it on camera. Anyway, this one is just so bizarre. All right, I'm gonna show you this one next, but I'm gonna stop talking now and I'm just gonna do a montage of a few more of the fossils. You guys get the idea. I don't know if these are fossils or what they are, but hopefully someone out there can tell me because I don't know. So let me know what you guys think, but please enjoy the montage of the few other potential fossils.
Anyway, I have more, but that's all I'm gonna show you today because I feel like this has gotta be boring, but hopefully someone out there knows if these are fossils or not and can tell me because I would love to know. Okay, thanks, bye. Mm -hmm.